When you are writing Arduino code for your ESP32, you're likely using the Arduino IDE. And while it is a great tool for beginning users, it lacks some more advanced features that are really nice to have. For instance, you might outgrow the Arduino framework and want to go with a different framework. Or maybe you want to work with many people on the same project while managing dependencies. Or maybe you want to use a debugger. Or maybe you want to write unit tests. All of these things are not possible with the Arduino IDE today. So for the remainder of this series, I will switch to Platform IO, a cross-platform tool that addresses all of these issues. For now, let's just explore the features that it has. Here on their website, you can see that they support over 34 platforms. These relate to the processors inside of microcontrollers. There is support for various Atmel processors, which is used by many Arduino ports, but there's also support for the ESP32 and its older brother, the ESP8266, and of course, many more. Now, as mentioned, Platform.io also support multiple frameworks. Of course, the Arduino framework is supported, which is probably one of the easiest ones to get started with, but you could also opt to go with ESP-IDF, the official development framework for the ESP32. Now, whatever framework you choose, Platform.io has your back. What's also cool is the built-in dependency manager. They have a registry of over 7,000 libraries that you can use in your code. And these are pre-built packages that help you to interface with other hardware like displays, sensors, motors, and so on. For instance, if you buy a DHT22 temperature sensor, you can use a library to interface with it. All you have to do is take one of these libraries, list it as a dependency for your project, and then Platform.io will take care of downloading it, keeping it up to date, and it will even download the dependencies of your dependencies, should there be any. But more on this in another video. And finally, Platform.io also has a built-in debugger. That way you can set breakpoints and see what is going on when your program is running. And it also has intelligent code completion, which will make your life a lot easier while you are developing your firmware. In the next video, I will show you how to set up Platform.io for the ESP32. And for the remainder of this series, I will be using this instead of the Arduino IDE. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in this series.